Here we are at Hong Kong Football Club for the final round of the 2017 Asia Rugby Championship with Korean head coach John Walters. A uh, tough day in the office last week in Yisan. John, uh, what positives did you take out of that 43-17 to 17 loss? Uh, the office was very tough last week. Um, we didn't take any positives out of the loss because we lost. Um, and it came down to us not scoring as, enough, uh, as much points as Hong Kong and letting them score more points than us. So we really need to tighten up on that this week. So here you are in Hong Kong. What have you been focusing on this week? I mean, there's still a chance that you can take second spot here with a win tomorrow and maybe a bonus point. So what have been the focus uh, this week? Well, for us, it's about being clear. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've had a plan uh, for, the, for the whole ARC, obviously, and we've probably implemented uh, probably 40% of it in our first game. Um, the second game, we probably didn't get through uh, as much as we would have liked. Uh, and certainly last week, uh, we, we weren't very happy with, with our uh, application last week. So for us, it's about putting our plan on, uh, on the field um, and about implementing that and, um, for, for a large period of the game. So. How do you think Hong Kong can be beaten tomorrow? Where are you going to be targeting them? Oh, look, they're, they're a good side. Um, you know, obviously, being professional rugby players for, for the last two years is really starting to pay dividends. Uh, they're big, strong and fit and, um, and they've got a plan and they know it well when they play to their strengths. Um, for us it's a matter of playing to our strengths um, and I think our, our strengths uh, could undo um, certain parts of the, the Hong Kong game. So like I said before, it's, it's about us sticking to our plan, playing to our strengths and, and uh, implementing a plan uh, for a good period of the game. Will a win tomorrow earn this team a pass mark from John Walters? The boys have tried hard. you know. Um, you know, it's been really trying circumstances, but they're good boys. Um, they're still working hard um, despite three losses. Um, so for me, uh, we really want to see them get a good result tomorrow. They deserve it. Uh, it'll be a great injection for, for Korean rugby just to show that we have the potential there to, to compete with, with professional sides. Um, and, then, and then hopefully we can uh, sort of start improving our, our domestic uh, programme as well. So. A lot of work to be done. Well, good luck tomorrow and take care of that big fat heart of yours. Here we are with Hong Kong assistant coach Mark Fatty Lofa. Good win last week in Yisan. Uh, what's the vibe been since that win uh, seven days ago? Uh, the vibe's been uh, pretty controlled. The boys have come back with level heads and um, to be fair, we're looking forward to what Korea are going to bring back to us. Sure. What were you particularly pleased about in Korea last week? Um, I think we started the game quite strongly. Uh, there were some of the things that we worked for the Korean game worked for during the week and I thought they came, came quite good last week. Yeah. In particular? Uh, our strikes. Our strikes set the platform what we need to do and everything kind of falls that way. Yeah. Six good tries. What have been the work-ons as you now prepare for this match tomorrow against Korea? It's a do or die. Either team could take second spot tomorrow for the uh, Asia Rugby Championship. Yeah. No. Um, we're going to be really on guard here to watch what they're going to give us. I think. We're looking for some kind of strike back from how we played over there. So we're going to be cautious, but we're also going to really try out a few things that we've been working on during the week. Tell us about the squad. It's the same run on 15 that, that ran out in Korea seven days ago and two replacements on the bench. What does that say about the squad at this moment that you're pretty, looking pretty solid and consistent? Yeah, we've got a really good 23, 24, 26. We've got a lot of guys that have been helping us out during the week on our wider squad which come in on Tuesdays and Thursdays and hammer us and you know it, it's been really useful as you can see last week that whoever steps out we can almost keep that same level of intensity of people that step in. Yep. What message do you have for the home fans of Hong Kong uh, about this match tomorrow? Four o'clock local time. Yeah, it's our local team right so we expect everyone to be there. It's going to be a good show, it's going to be a tough game I think Korea are really going to bring it to us so it's going to be enjoyable to watch. World number 25 takes on world number 29 here at Football Club tomorrow in the final round of the Asia Rugby Championship.